Oh, hey, didn't see you there. How's it going? As you can see, I'm on my way to a Zoom dance class with a bag that I pack every day to go to a class at home. On my way to take a Zoom point class. Yes, that's a Christmas wreath on my door. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kylie, rhymes with smiley, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's what I'm talking about. We're on the fourth video now. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what's in my dance bag. Woo! Yes, what's in my dance bag. Realistically, I'm not packing a dance bag right now because of quarantine and I don't really need a whole bag to pack to go to my living room and take a dance class. If I really needed something, I can just go run and get it somewhere around my house, so. But this is generally some stuff that I would pack for uh, a trek to the dance studio when uh, we're not in the midst of a global pandemic. Normally, when I go to a dance class, what I pack in my bag really varies depending on the day, which classes I'm taking, what I'm gonna be doing that day, so. This is just a rough idea of what I usually bring to the studio for my day-to-day -day dance classes, so let's get started. Here I have my Russian Point origami backpack, which I love so much. The second I became a Russian Point dancer, I was like, I really hope I get the origami backpack because I saw it on their website and I was like, so beautiful. I ended up getting it and I'm so happy to have it. I haven't been able to use it in action yet, but uh, I've still been using it a little bit here and there. Well, here we go. We're gonna start off by opening up my dance bag and seeing what's inside. So to start off, we are going to pull out, this is my like wallet purse thing. In here I just have some lip balm, which I always have because my lips get so chapped so quickly all the time. And I have my cards, my gift cards in case I wanna do a little shopping after class. My ID, such stuff like that. Another thing that I always have on hand with me, regardless of the class or whatever I'm doing that day, is my Lululemon sweat towel. Your girl sweats a lot, okay? So this is a necessity, so always need this. Something else that I always end up having with me, even if I'm not taking a ballet class that day, is my hairpin box, which is just an Altoids box. And Ended up using it for hairpins, it's really convenient. I have a little divider in there for small closed pins, and then I have like these big hairpins for when I do my bun and stuff. So I always have that on hand. And uh, here's a little secret for you. I took a tour of Juilliard, which I talked about in my Juilliard story audition video, which you can check out here somewhere. But from when I took a tour of Juilliard, I had my little sticker that said I was a participant of the tour. So I had this sticker, this was a long time before I knew what was gonna happen, which is crazy. And I remember putting on this sticker and being like, if I don't get into Juilliard, it's just gonna be like a sour reminder of how I didn't get in. But if I do, it's gonna be a really cool memory of how I took a tour and I was like, wow, amazed and everything, so. And it's really cool to like have that and like look at it on the bottom instead of like the nutrition facts of Altoids. So that's that. Uh, next item we have, is actually something that I take with me everywhere, not just dance, just like all the time. I have this water bottle from Bolshoi Ballet Academy's Summer Intensive in New York, which I did last year. So much fun, it was such an awesome summer, and this is such a nice water bottle, so I always have water on hand. I'm really trying to like stay hydrated, especially in quarantine, stay hydrated, y'all. Another thing that I always, always, always have is a spare pair of tights just in case, um, just in case I have any like mishaps, if I rip some tights before class or something like that. So I always have a spare pair of those on hand. I also always have a spare leotard in case my leotard gets wet somehow or something else happens, you never know. So always have that. Another thing that I usually have with me, I try to have it as often as possible, is a sewing kit in case a point shoe thread snaps. If I have a hole in some of my clothing and just 
sew it up really quickly. Something else that I don't always carry with me, but sometimes if I'm going to an audition or something like that, I'll bring it as like a pastime to help warm up, is an exercise band, a TheraBand, whatever you want to call it. This one's from Russian Point. This is their light exercise band. I have it with me mostly just for auditions and stuff so I can work through my feet or do some exercises while I'm waiting in anticipation. A staple in my dance bag are trash bag pants. I love these so much. They really help me get warm really quickly. They're really comfortable and I just live in them, okay? They're just so nice. And then something else that I need to have on hand all the time because my muscles get really tight really quickly is a tennis ball just to roll out any tight or sore muscles that I have that day. I'll roll out my feet at the bar, keep it next to me. It's a very little thing, but it makes a very big impact. I gotta unfold my shoes because I take them off like a slob. It's gonna be a minute. I just keep saying always with me, necessity. I have to have it. <laughs> next up we have ballet flats, and I have a pink pair from Russian Point. This is their Vivante flat shoe. And then I also have tan flat shoes that I wear if I'm like feeling myself that day. Usually I don't bring both of them. Depending on the day and the teacher that I have, I'll just pick a pair and then go for it. So these are those. Also usually carry a pair of like shorts on hand, not necessarily these, sometimes like some other trash bag shorts or something, just in case I have like a spontaneous like contemporary class and I have to take it in pink ballet tights or something, or if we have a little mishap, then I can just cover it up with these. So that's that too. Something else I'll have a lot of the time is a bullet point skirt, which I am obsessed with. This is like my staple item. I always wear it for ballet classes and whatnot. It's really simple and it packs up really small so it doesn't take up a lot of room in my bag. So it's really easy to have it with me whenever I need it. And something else I like to have on hand are some dance socks. My sister got these for me from Discount Dance and I love them. They really mold to my foot nicely. I'll bring them to an audition if I know there's gonna be like contemporary done or something like that. So they're really nice, really comfortable. They also pack up really small. So that makes it easy to have them on hand all the time. So I don't have to carry like a really heavy bag. Next up we have a hairbrush. Sometimes I'll have this on hand with me if I know that I'm gonna be going from like ballet to contemporary and I'm gonna give my hair a quick comb through. Always good to have this on hand just in case you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah! Something that's really important to have on hand for me is snacks. Snackies. I'll usually bring one or two with me. I'll bring something like this, like a kind bar. But other times I'll have something like this blueberry almond bar or sometimes I'll have an RX bar, which I just, I love it so much. Here are my snacks. Another thing that I keep in my bag are these Ruby Aware leg warmers. I'm obsessed with these. Uh, I didn't wear them for really, really long. Uh, I didn't wear them for a really long time and then I really got into them and now I wear them every day. I love them. They're super cute and they keep my ankles and calves and feet super warm and they're very aesthetically pleasing. So we love Ruby Aware. Next up we have my toe pads, uh, I molded these toe pads to fit my feet, so it's like my toe shape in there. They really are helpful in preventing bruised toenails, which is a big problem that I have if I don't have like these on hand. So these are my lifesavers. Love these, love them a lot. And last, but certainly not least, one of the most important contents of my bag, if I'm taking a ballet class that is, are my point shoes. These are the Russian point Rubines and I talked about them a lot in my How I Sew, Darn, and Tie My Infinity Ribbons. Like these, which you can go check out on my channel. It's gonna pop up somewhere on the screen if I can figure it out. Super comfortable. I feel really confident on point that I can balance, that I can turn, that I can do all of this stuff. I love my point shoes a whole lot. And yeah, that is it everybody. That is what's in my dance bag. You all were very curious to know, and now you know. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you liked it. Hope you liked seeing what was in my dance bag today. Um, comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, so that you know every time that I post a new video. I post every Sunday, 3 p.m. EST. It's always subject to change, but for now, it's Sunday, 3 p.m. EST. Be there or be square. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It was super fun. I hope to see you next time and see you later. Bye.
How stuff about I throw and, like, a shoe at you? Do that. You can be like, next time I might point shoes and I'll throw it to you and then like I'll purposefully hit you. Oh! You don't hurt me. <laughs> next up, we have my point shoes. Ow, dude! And don't throw it at me. Throw it like at the bag. Next up are my point shoes. Jesus Christ. 